Hello, my name is Dietmar Dörschlag. I'm a certified Atlassian business consultant with Valiantis, and we are the largest global platinum solution partner focused on the Atlassian ecosystem. Thank you very much for joining me today. This video focuses on the Jira Service Management JSM Project Administrator role. And this video is part of a multi-part video series where we focus on Atlassian administration. Now, before we dive into the details about the Jira Service Management GSM project admin role, let's set the stage. As we know, Atlassian products hardly ever operate in isolation. They very often are used in conjunction with other Atlassian tools which is where the power of Atlassian really lies. It's the integration between Atlassian tools that enables teams to collaborate. Specifically, JSM is very often used in conjunction with Confluence to support the creation of shared knowledge in Confluence spaces. For example, a JSM project, which is accessed by customers via a portal, very often is supported by a Confluence space that retains knowledge base articles. But very often, GSM is also used together with Jira to support both the dev and the upside in IT, where Jira teams work in, in Jira uh, to handle software development. And the solution, once it goes live, is then supported for the ongoing sustainment in Jira service management, which handles the ops side of IT. And of course, both Jira and JSM are not only used in IT, they are used broadly throughout business teams and organizations. Now, in other videos, we noted and we emphasized that there are really three levels of organization role, of uh, admin roles in the Atlassian ecosystem. We have org admins, we have product admins, this could be a Jira or JSM admin, could be a Confluence admin. And then we have project admins for Jira and Jira service management. And we have space admins for um, Confluence. And all those levels in the um, organism, in, in any Jira instance, the levels of um, administrators work together for the good of the end users. Now, in another video, we focused on the org admin role, which is the most senior role uh, among the ad, uh, ad, administration roles. Org admins create users, they onboard users, offboard users, users for many instance. They create groups, which are mapped to products to grant users access. They manage security and access settings, they handle licensing and billing, and other overarching site settings that have implications on all products used in that particular instance. So org admins are really fulfilling a very prerequisite role that needs to be in place before product admins and project and space admins can do their job. Now the focus of this video now is on Jira service management project admins. Now as an introduction, what do they do? Well, they do a lot of things. For starters, they cannot create projects. Um, unlike in Jira Core, where you have the ability to create team-managed projects, the concept of a team-managed project does not exist in JSM. Therefore, the creation of projects is reserved to the JSM admin, cannot be done by a project admin. Very Similar to Jira, Jira Software, Jira Core, a JSM project admin onboards team members into their respective projects. They enable or disable certain features, certain functions available in a JSM project. They manage versions. Yes, JSM projects can have versions. And they also manage components. Why? Because both versions and components are specific to a JSM project. Therefore, it is the role of a JSM ad project admin to create components and versions. They can manage project details. A very important function that they fulfill is to create and manage queues, which are used by agents to manage their work. 
They manage issue lists, which in a GSM project are really lists of requests based on request types. They create and maintain automation rules, the scope of which have to be limited to their project only. They manage board. Atlassian just recently in Q2 2024 uh, included board functionality in JSM projects. This was much awaited and anticipated and it's now available. The management of boards, the setup of boards is a function of the JSM project admin. They create reports and dashboards. They can create request types, map those request types to portal groups and they can also create forms. They can configure portal settings. They can manage bulk operations for issues in a GSM project, and they can also configure chats. So as you can see, a GSM project admin does a lot of things that a Jira software project admin does, but there are a number of um, configuration items that they look after, which can only be found in the GSM project. So let's dive in and look at how this works in my Jira or GSM uh, org. Now, the first thing we need to demonstrate here is what is a Jira GSM admin and how is somebody made a Jira GSM admin and how is somebody made a GSM project admin? So for starters, through the settings cog top right, we are navigating to global permissions. And in your instance, and obviously I am in a cloud instance here, anyone who is given the global permission administer Jira is also a JSM administrator in the same instance. And this is only controlled through group membership. So you could create different groups for Jira admins and GSM admins, but it's important to note and to emphasize that by default, whoever is a Jira admin in your instance is also a Jira service management admin. Now with respect to uh, who has the permission to administer a GSM project, this is handled through the permission scheme, right? A permission scheme is mapped into a GSM service project. And in that permission scheme, we have the administer projects project level permission. And yes, this permission to administer a project can be granted to different um, access levels, so to speak. It can be granted to project roles, to a group, to a reporter, a project lead. So there are many different ways in how you can determine who has the administer JSM project permission. And of course, this permission scheme is then mapped into a project. So that determines from a setup perspective who a GSM project admin is. Now with that, let's jump into a GSM project and look exactly at what a GSM project admin does and what it cannot do. So from my project list, I'm navigating down to a GSM project and I'm opening the ITSM uh, sample project. And in that project, and yes, this is a, um, is a uh, company managed project as the concept of a team managed project for GSM does not exist. We are navigating from the, the sidebar here to um, project settings. Now let's look at each of those areas um, in, in, in a quick run through. Project details, just like in a J, Jira software, Jira core project, the project admin in a JSM proje project can manage those project details. They can update the project name. It's quite unlikely that this happens in the JSM project, but they can do that. They can update the project uh, key. They can update the team type which is, you know, HR, legal, whatever it is. Uh, they can update the URL um, and they could uh, manage project categories and also change the project lead and change the default assignee. So those settings, just like in a Jira software project, can be controlled in a GSM project by the project admin. People, 
As we explained in another video for Chira Project Admin, please check that out. The Chira Service Project Admin, their role really is to onboard people into the project. And by default, roles in that service project are either admins, service desk customers, or service desk team agents. It's the responsibility of the project admin to onboard those people into that project. Uh, of course, a service desk project is typically long-term and does not have a start and end because a portal through which customers submit requests is longer term in nature uh, compared to some Jira projects, which are sometimes only temporary in nature. Now, the other important thing for a Jira service management project admin is that they can turn on or turn off, enable or disable certain features in their project. So for example, they can turn on the newly released board functionality in a JSM project, or they can turn it off, in which case it then is not available to any user in their project. They can turn on or turn off the newly released calendar feature, which is actually very handy, for example, to monitor change requests uh, on a calendar view. They can turn on or turn off service request management, incident management, problem management. So a very important function of a GSM project admin is to turn on or turn off features in a project. Of course, there is a lot of change management that has to come with that. A project admin would not just on a whim turn those features off or on. There's a lot of communication that has to happen. If we look at the summary tab for a moment, this is just like in Jira software, Jira core, this is really the responsibility of the Jira service management, sorry, Jira or JSM product admin, the Jira JSM admin that work in the summary screen. So the project admin is not allowed to swap out any schemes. They cannot swap out permissions, notifications, screens, workflows, field configurations. This is the responsibility of a product admin. They can also not create new issue types because issue types are controlled via schemes mapped to that project. Issue types in a service project, of course, control the workflow that request types map to that issue type follow. However, a project admin in a Jira service project can create new request types which are then mapped to issue types, and they can also create new portal groups which help customers to find those request types on the portal. So because those request types are specific to a project, request types only live in the project, cannot be copied to another project, it is the responsibility of and the ability of the GSM project admin to create those request types. The same is also true for forms. Uh, they are called performer forms. So this would be a portal form that a GSM project admin can create, um, can design, can create, which is then launched by a customer on the portal. Now, some other things that um, a GSM project admin can do is they can configure portal settings. So uh, the portal URL, the name of the portal, a logo, customizing the look and feel of a portal, right? Who has access to that, that channel? Um, that can be controlled by the GSM project admin. However, it needs to be emphasized here that there are certain global settings controlled by the GSM product admin that control and govern the way a portal works, the way customer permissions work. They cannot be changed by a GSM project admin as they have more overarching implications across multiple GSM projects and portals. Um, Yes, a GSM um, ad project admin can set the uh, email requests. They can um, add, um, for example, another email um, uh, channel to, um, to a GSM project. There can only be two, by the way. So this is also something that a GSM project admin can control. 
Now, one very important and key function of HGSM project admin is the management of queues. Queues, of course, are used by agents to monitor their, their work and is used by management to oversee the work, the uh, service requests being fulfilled, incidents being resolved by agents. So a very important role of a GSM project admin is to manage queues. They would go into queues and they can manage queues, they can uh, create new queues, they can change um, the filters, the underpinning JQL syntaxes on existing queues to filter out uh, what queues, what what um, issues are shown in each queue, they can star queues. So all of this is really a function of the um, GSM project admin and is very important. In the overview slide, earlier in this video, we talked about reports. Yes, GSM comes with built-in reports, just the way a Jira project comes with reports. A Jira project admin can set up those reports, whether or not they are created versus resolved, SLA met versus or breached, SLA success rate, problems by priority, etc. So those pre-configured canned reports, the project admin can go into those reports and configure them, set them up. Uh, not unlike what a Jira software admin can do in a Jira software project. Now, moving back into project settings for a few other things that a Jira service management project admin can do. Project settings, if we look down here under um, versions and components, yes, they can create versions, they can create components. Those are project specific settings, they do not transcend that one particular project, therefore a project admin can administer those settings. Uh, they can not change issue security because it's handled via an issue security scheme controlled by a Jira or GSM product administrator. They can um, create project level automation. So just like as is the case in a Jira project, they can create automation in a GSM project and um, GSM provides you with a wonderful library of automation templates that you can build off. But those automations have to be scoped to one particular project only, the project that the project admin administers. If they change the scope of that automation to another project or even global, that cannot be handled by a GSM admin. It needs to be done by a uh, a Jira or GSM product administrator. And to wrap this up, there are just a few more configuration areas that the, port, the project admin in GSM can handle. And this is customer notifications uh, and chat. So in customer notifications, they are very distinct and different from other notifications in a GSM project more internally focused through a notification scheme handled by a Jira GSM product administrator. Customer notifications, there are some 10 here. They can be edited, um, uh, turned on, turned off by a um, GSM project admin. So you don't need to be a Jira GSM product admin. They can be handled by a project admin. And lastly, the ability to configure a chat channel in a GSM project um, is also something that a GSM project admin can do. So with that, that brings me to the end of this uh, presentation. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this information of value to you. As you can see in summary, the role of a GSM project admin is very important. Um, they, they essentially have a very similar role as the, G, the Jira software project admin, but there are, due to the nature of service management, a lot of other configuration settings that they uh, control. Um, in all reality, a lot of those settings are quite static. Uh, once a portal is enabled, it is not that likely that additional request types um, uh, additional forms, 
portal settings are changed as you embark on your GSM journey. The data is in all likelihood more static, but certainly there could be situations where a GSM project admin needs to have the control to change that, and they should not rely on a GSM admin, Jira admin, to make those changes. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to reach out. My name is Dietmar Dörschlag. You can reach me at dietmar.dörschlag at valiantis.com. In closing, I always encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, uh, Valiantis. On YouTube, we always post content uh, related to Atlassian, the Atlassian ecosystem, as well. We are passionate to provide this knowledge to, to our clients. So thank you for joining me and have a great day.